So I want to talk a little bit about curbside food options um, and then uh, you know the, the subject of our uh, meeting today and what my involvement is as well as how I've been involved with some of the uh, folks here. So uh, earlier in the crisis uh, when it really when things I think when the, the first kind of stay home you know order that 250 came out like in uh, mid March or so maybe late March um, I manage a Facebook group in my neighborhood uh, called Canton Neighbors and has like 21,000 people in there posting about a lot of different stuff mostly like water cooler nonsense but uh, there was a lot of posts about restaurants that were now forced to close and were still offering carry out and they all wanted to post on there saying like we're still open you know uh, here's our information and others were saying no we're going to close for the duration of it here's that so uh, with a lot of information coming out I said, let's kind of corral all that into one post and then just let everybody comment with all their stuff. Uh, and so that worked for a little while until it grew to several hundred comments. Um, and so quickly we saw like, we need a document for this. Uh, so I started a, uh, like a Google Docs, uh, like sort of word processor document that I uh, was collaborating with a couple other people in the neighborhood to basically take all these comments and like write them down into a, uh, a note and then as it happens with you know open data uh, people saw that and they said I think I could do that better as a spreadsheet so someone else kind of took the the document and sort of forked it into a spreadsheet uh, and that's actually the one that we're going to look at tonight um, and then from that spreadsheet there have been other uh, kind of iterations some people have made other maps with this data um, I've seen there's this Baltimore virtual tip jar was like another kind of offshoot where uh, waiters and bartenders and stuff that work at these restaurants wanted to, uh, you know, acknowledge who they were. So if you wanted to like leave a tip via PayPal or Venmo or something, you could, you know, look up your favorite restaurant and see uh, where who worked there. So uh, that's how uh, this uh, list of restaurants uh, that came, uh, came about um that we're gonna work with a little bit later um and a couple weeks ago maggie approached a couple of us with map time baltimore to, like uh, with the idea of mapping the the things from those lists uh in osm and she threw out a uh, uh there's some folks in france that made this website that could show all those points uh, and they actually developed within the OpenStreetMap community, uh, like a standard for how to uh, tag, so to speak, how to kind of attribute those restaurants with these special COVID-19 hours. So you can basically get that COVID-19 information into OpenStreetMap. Thayer's gonna talk about it a little more. Uh, when I saw that they had uh, taken the time to write up this kind of specification, uh, I've contributed a lot in the past on the, uh, the OpenStreetMap editor ID, it is a completely open source product uh, project. Uh, you Anybody can contribute, you can uh, submit issues, pull requests, that kind of stuff, it's on GitHub. Uh, and I threw in a you know hopeful uh, kind of enhancement issue request saying, hey, can we add these COVID-19 hours onto ID by the 30th for this uh, meetup? And I wasn't expecting that it would go anywhere. Uh, but with some people in the community, uh, you know, interested and uh, Thayer uh, reached out to some, uh, some folks on the OpenStreetMap Slack to really kind of escalate this. Uh, they were able to get this change into ID. So we're gonna uh, mess with that in a little bit. Um, so why I just wanted to say that is, not only is the data open source, but the, you know, applications behind it are also uh, open source, you know, crowd source, whatever you want to say. And uh, you can contribute to that as well if you're like a coder or, uh, you know, even have ideas on how things should look. Uh, they welcome all that kind of information um, over on the OpenStreetMap uh, ID repository on GitHub. Uh, so that with that, I think that kind of brings it back to OSM. And I'll let 
uh, Thayer talk a little bit about the uh, that nuts and bolts of what we're going to get into tonight. And basically what we want to do, since we're all locked up in our houses, we want to go and do something about this, uh, as Elliot explained. Um, basically the COVID-19 pandemic has interrupted all our lives. And uh, in Maryland, it's called the stay at home order. Um, so it's closed all but essential businesses. Um, and restaurants and cafes are kind of essential, but uh, so some of them are open and some of them are closed and but most of them have different hours. So uh, it can be kind of confusing. So one way we can we as GIS people and map people can help uh, the public is to update the open street map uh, using the new COVID-19 tags, which Elliot just talked about. And we can reflect those updates and resources like that spreadsheet that Elliot also men mentioned. So, um, so um, basically you click on the, you click on your point of interest. Um, on the left, it brings up your, uh, all the uh, tags or the, you know, the attributes for GIS people. Um, you come down into this COVID-19 pandemic hours, number two here, um, and then you click on it and it will bring up this drop down menu. Um, that drop down menu, uh, you click on one of those if you see the one that you like, or you can click in the, the box, you know, the data entry box and you, you can type in the details. Uh, and then uh, if you want to, if you need to, you can either trash it to remove it, or you can click the undo icon, uh, you know, the back arrow to undo the previous step that you did, or you can click the info icon. And the info icon is actually pretty nice because that brings up the Wikipedia page or the wiki page, the OpenStreetMap wiki page that describes all information that you need to know And then if you want more information, there are these other tags that have been added also, this delivery, this takeaway access and description. Um, there are all these Wikipedia pages, these, all these wiki pages that you can look at if you want more detail on how to do that. Um, and then there's also this, uh, basically the, um, These are the different resources that, and you should have all gotten an email about this if you're in map time. If you're, if you didn't get the map time, then I can send it to you. But anyway, so uh, there's the spreadsheet, um, and which is right here. Um, and so, so let's pick a restaurant here, uh, Alma Cucina Latina. Um, whoops. So. And I'll go to open street map here. And I happen to know where that is. Uh, you could probably search Alma Cocina. There it is. So if the place is already mapped, you can add it. Uh, so we can get the approximate location and then go from the list from there because the list doesn't have the address in it. That was, I guess, whoever set this up deemed that not uh, you know, relevant because uh, who needs an address when you have a website? Uh, so we'll look at Alma uh, here, and it's this little point. I will pull up the edit mode and um, let's close that out. Hey, look at that imagery. 
Um, switch it up real quick, sorry. Okay, so here's the point. I see it's got the name, some cuisines, but we're focused on is this right here, COVID-19 pandemic hours. All right, so if you notice, uh, I've already got the, the regular hours in for this one, um, which I got from their website. Um, on the list, it says uh, pick up only between 5 and 8 p.m. All right, so we'll change that to, uh, well, we have to use this format that's in the presentation uh, that they are set out. And uh, in that presentation, I put a link to a handy tool called Yo Hours. Um, and some gracious person has set up this little interactive uh, hour uh, sort of maker for OSM because the, the format, it's, you have to put the, you know, two letter day and then the uh, 24 hour clock kind of hours. It's a little um, cumbersome to kind of write it out. So we can tell by this that they're open Monday, Thursday, and then Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday must be closed Sunday. So uh, according to this, between 5 and 8 p.m., um, we'll assume that it's uh, Monday through Saturday from 5 to 8 p.m. So what I can do is go in here, uh, 5 to 8 p.m. There's this little interactive thing. Um, and then you just draw in the hours, like you're scheduling a meeting in Outlook uh, or whatever calendar you use. Um, and then what we'll get at the top is a handy little thing that we can copy paste. So copy, and now pop that over here, paste. Now we've got the COVID-19 pandemic hours. Uh, there are uh, some additional Things you can add uh, uh, right uh, there, like the, should I, you know, note that it's carry out only or something like that is, or is it good enough just to put the hours? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was just asking you because I know you uh, looked at it a little more. I just want to make sure. Um, it should be good enough to do the hours, uh, but, um, I mean, the guy, uh, Quincy went and he added in, uh, you know, delivery, you know, if, if, if there's information on the website about whether or not they deliver, um, you could put in delivery hours, you yes. could put in, um, you could put in curbside, uh, or here, wait, I think there's takeaway. So you could yeah, fill it in as takeaway, I guess, also. Okay. Um, yeah. But oh, like, so that's all in there now too, right? Yeah, but this is, all those ones are in general. Uh, oh, okay. For, right. for yeah, COVID. so you don't want to overwrite the, right, the ones. Right, exactly. You want to go down into all tags and add it. Right. So, I think. So, scroll down to the bottom there. Yeah. So, we go to like, delivery. Following COV. Right, so like this one, yeah. we would change to no, and was it take away, take away uh, only, there we go. So uh, those are the additional tags that you can add, uh, you know, based on the, the spreadsheet. Um, I'd say at the very least, get the, you know, the sort of numerical hours into there. Um, and then if, uh, you can optionally add that stuff, uh, right. So that's essentially the workflow. So then what I'll do, um, what do you, uh, how about we'll just make it, uh, like green or something, color the background green. Oh yeah. And then map, uh, you can take, uh, if the, so I'm going to go save. So. Um, added COVID-19 hours for um, uh, um, say, if we want to have a, a hashtag for today, uh, 
Maggie, Map Time, Be More, something like that. That would be great. We love hashtags. Map Time, Be More, maybe hashtag OSMUS. Okay. So you can add little hashtags to your uh, uh, change set in this screen. You notice that there's a little checkbox for hashtags. I added that in there. Um, I'm going to hit upload. And now uh, my change will go to the map. Uh, and then the last thing you could do uh, is click on your point. And we're going to copy this link right here. You actually just right click it if you're on a Windows. Uh, control, Command click on a Mac and uh, copy link address. And then you can pop that into the, in here, I guess. For, like, yeah, so um, that is how you update one. <clears throat> uh, why don't we do another? So you know where that is. Okay, so it is right here. Go to edit. And you know, the, okay, so this is my opinion, uh, but you could probably assume that it's takeaway only during, or, you know, during the COVID, because I mean, you, none of the places you can go into. Um, I think you'd want to, uh, if they have like a delivery special, I think that's good to do. And if it says on their website that they normally offer delivery, uh, then certainly uh, put that uh, into the, the tags. You know, that's helpful to folks. All right, so hours doesn't have regular hours, uh, nor of course does it have the COVID hours. Um, so I'm just gonna focus on COVID right now, but uh, eight to three, I don't know if that's Monday through Friday. Since this is a crowdsource, you know, sometimes you don't get uh, all the information. So sometimes you might need to pop open the website. Okay, that is a order in website. Uh, uh, let's see here. You can have that delivered down here. If you <laughs> What's that? You want to put in my address? That would be okay if you want to have it delivered. Oh yeah. <laughs> see that? Oh look, see they already had. So they have their updated COVID nineteen hours on their website, which is sweet. Um, it's actually different than what's in the spreadsheet, but I would trust this over the website. I mean, sorry, over the sheet because um, maybe they've changed it or something. Uh, so this one's Monday to Friday, ten to three. You can do that in here. Uh, pop that over there. 10 to three. And you can, once you kind of figure out the, uh, this little specification, uh, you could change, kind of like manually do it here. Uh, so what did that say? Um, and then it'll update it down here. Uh, so is that Monday to Friday, through 10 to three, Saturday to Sunday, nine to three. Um, so nine to three. Bang, bang. All right, copy that. And we're going to paste that right here. OK. Now I've added another one of these. Uh, hashtag. Um, some more. Is it be more? Be more. I don't know. Be more. Uh, all right. Cool. Would you mind sharing the hashtag in the chat? Yeah, could you do that? Uh, trying, I, like, I minimized the zoom so I can see OpenStreetMap, so it's kind of tiny on my screen. Got it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, and that's essentially the process. Um, any questions, comments, concerns? Uh, yeah, don't forget to make this green. So. Fill color, green, there we go.